Please stand as we pray the angels. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning. Welcome to the shrine of St. John Bosco the Dreamer. Together with our personal intentions, we are also including the following. For the gift of life and birth, the intentions of Sin Vincent, Peter Jade, Jim Well, Ivan Gab, Paul Andre, Christian Flores, Juben, John Benedict, Earl Joseph. Thanksgiving for the 20th birthday of Zilis Marie Abarquez. Thanksgiving Mass for the gift of life of Alan Lina. For the healing recovery and good health of Princess Diane Altejos, Dolores Saison, Oscar Kilo, Jesusa Kababat. For the intentions of Rimje Luzano, Jennifer Jaro, Joseph, Paulo Altejos and family, Peter Carl. Fares, Edward, Arkin, Brian. Mass intention for the successful capping ceremony of Daf Rose Olivar as student nurse. Thanksgiving Mass offered by Jed Remily and RJ Christian Maghanoi for all blessings received. And for more good and holy vacations to the priestly and religious life. For the eternal repose of the souls of Cesar Zabate, Franz Ivan D, Charles Wang, Javelin Ibanez, Ramon Mendoza, Rafina Piu, Eldepedia, Juan, and for the eternal repose of the souls in purgatory. Please stand. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. My son, when you come to serve the Lord, stand in justice and fear. Prepare yourselves for trials. Be sincere of heart and steadfast. Incline your ear and receive the word of understanding. Undisturbed in time of adversity. Wait on God with patience. Cling to Him. Forsake Him not. Thus will you be wise in all your ways. Accept whatever befalls you. When sorrowful, be steadfast. And in crushing misfortune, be patient. For in, go for in fire, gold and silver are tested, and worthy people in the crucible of humiliation. Trust God, and God will help you. Trust in Him, and He will direct your way. Keep His fear and grow all therein. You who fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. Turn not away, lest you fall. You who fear the Lord, trust him, and your reward will not be lost. You who fear the Lord, hope for good things, for lasting joy and mercy. You who fear the Lord, love him, and your hearts will be enlightened. Study the generations long past and understand. Has anyone hope in the Lord and been disappointed? Has anyone persevered in his, preserved in his commandments and been forsaken? Has anyone called upon him and been revolved? Compassionate and merciful is the Lord. He forgives sins and he saves in time of trouble. And he is the protector to all who seek him in truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Commit your life to the Lord, and He will help you. Commit your life to the Lord, and He will help you. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and He will grant you your heart's request. Commit your life to the Lord, and He will help you. The Lord watches over the lives of the wholehearted. Their inheritance lasts forever. They are not put to shame in, on, in an evil time. In days of famine, they have plenty. Commit your life to the Lord and He will help you. Turn from evil and do good.
that you may abide forever. For the Lord loves what is right and forsakes not his faithful ones. Commit your life to the Lord and he will help you. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress. And the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in Him. Commit your life to the Lord and He will help you. Please all stand. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee. But he did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples and telling them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him. And three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once outside the house, he began to ask them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent, for they had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, if anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking the child, he placed it in their midst, and putting his arms around it, he said to them, Whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. There was a hymn that we were singing when we were aspirants, and the opening lyrics of the song goes like this. We are made for service to care for each other. And an image of one who lives out an inspiring and wholehearted service for many of us, I believe, is Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta. She's an example for those people who serve others because she imitated the Lord who came not to be served, but to serve. She is a model of one who, by being the last of all and the servant of all, later on became the first, especially when the church recognized her charitable works and her holy life, which led to her canonization. We are told that when Mother Teresa was engaged in picking up the dying and caring for them, a journalist commented, not even for a million dollars would I do a job like that. And Mother Teresa responded, neither would I. But St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta did all those acts of charity from her love of the Lord Jesus. In our gospel today, Jesus told his apostles a lesson about being first by being the servant of all. If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Before this episode in the Gospel, according to Mark, Jesus has revealed his divine nature in the Transfiguration. And after allowing his apostles to glimpse the future glory that he will have, Jesus spoke to them about the path to that glory. Service, love, being rejected, suffering, 
and ultimately experience, experiencing death at the hands of others. But the disciples missed the point of the words of Jesus and started to argue about which one of them was the greatest. Jesus admonished them and challenged them by saying, if they wish to be first, they must be willing to serve the rest. In our world today, many would like to go first, to be the first, to be always ahead than everyone else. Even in the social media, many would like to be the first to post this information and that in order to get more likes and subscriptions. And during the pandemic, whenever there was assistance or ayuda offered, many would want to be the first in order to get the best benefits. But Jesus is presenting to us a different kind of first, something that is beyond the usual understanding and ideals of our contemporary world. To be the first for Jesus means to be the servant of all, to be the last of all. Service is the key word for Jesus' criteria of being first. Brothers and sisters, we can ask ourselves these questions on the kind of service we give to our brothers and sisters. What is the intention of my serving others? And what is the quality of my service? Let us pray in this Eucharist that we too may live our life of following the Lord through service and sacrifice. May we not waver when we experience difficulties in our mission, in doing good works, and charitable deeds. Christ, our Lord, predicted his saving death and resurrection. Through him, the suffering servant, let us bring our petitions to the Father of all mercies. Merciful Lord, bless your children. Merciful Lord, bless your children. That the leaders of the church may show us a clear vision of patient endurance in the turmoil of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Lord, bless your children. That peace and harmony may reign among nations and among the world's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Lord, bless your children. That we may realize that true greatness is not a matter of power and respectability, but is to be found only in the service of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Lord, bless your children that the sick may unite their sufferings with those of Jesus on the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Lord, bless your children. That the dead who have gone before us may be forgiven for their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Lord, bless your children. Heavenly Father, give us the courage to accept whatever sufferings may come our way on the path of life. Lead us into the fullness of joy in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. 
Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, a spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Be 
behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ give us The body of Christ. Amen. <clears throat> Spiritual communion. O oh Jesus, I turn toward the holy tabernacle where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O oh my God. I cannot receive you in holy communion. Come, nevertheless, and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it. Sanctify it. Render it like unto your own. Amen. left me alone, and my dreams began to crumble and fall into emptiness. But I was deep in your heart, and your love was just too strong for me. You called me back and showed what's life about. For it's deep in your heart, for humanity hides dignity. With you, my dreams won't crumble and fall into emptiness. For I was deep in your heart, and I know my heart could find its peace until it finally rests in you.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that, what, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.